Right, so let's go for a drive, shall we? And um, see if you can see just in the video alone how wobb wobbly these things are on the road. Because to me, it's what makes them really fun to drive. They've got they've got very little power, and the gearing on gearboxes is ridiculously low. So, to put in perspective, if you're in a modern car, in a modern city car, then third gear would be around about 15 mile an hour, a thousand revs of the engine. On this car, it's four speed, and fourth gear is equivalent to that third gear. So, it, it will do up to 70 mile an hour, but it will be revving very high in comparison to a modern car, which puts a lot of people off because they think they're over revving the engine when really they were they 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 were designed to do it and they are capable of doing it because this one quite often does it. So it's very low geared, which means you do tend to rev them up quite a bit, but it's all part of the experience and just that one of those differences between a modern and an old car. So it's got very soft suspension. It's got the same mechanical as the Renault 4 as I've said. It's got torsion bar suspension all round with just shock absorbers. There's no cool spring, it's just torsion bars and shocks all round on this, which means it rolls really well. It's like a boat, really. Which means if you want to go round corners, you have got to know how to handle a car that's got a soft suspension, or you take it around slowly. If I do this, that's just rocking side to side and steering going in a straight line. And it rolls like a boat. It is absolute marvellous fun, which is something I really love. The, um, the brakes on one of these are the on the early cars, it was drums all round and the handbrake was actually on the front drums, not even the rears. On this TL, it's got front discs up. It's got discs up front and drums at the back. But either way, you have not got a servo. The late the Mark II Mark Ones had a servo. These early ones haven't, but I don't find much of a problem myself. It will pick up quite well. But you have just got to put your foot down because it's only got 40, 44 horsepower in the first place. So obviously, unless you really get the revs up, you're not going to feel any power at all. But as I say, it's all part of the experience and all part of how much different these are to, to a modern car. It's absolutely what I love about them. The indicators are on what would be the wrong side. They're up there next. They're next to next to me by the window, along with the headlight stalk. And the washer switch is, a, is where you normally find the indicators. All fun. I'm going to find a 60 mode, hopefully, I won't run out of video, so I can get up to speed and you can see just how noisy you, fi you think it is. Because I'm, I'm quite used to it now. But, um, so it's very low geared so it does rev up a heck of a lot compared to a newer car does. My, um, my Mark II project at the moment is um, I'm trying to rebuild a JB5 gearbox and the one I'm trying to rebuild was chosen because it is, it's got the same gear ratio as my sister's 65 play box of Corsa means that at 70 mile an hour you're not even doing 3000 rpm so it's really good gearing low revs and therefore better fuel economy and it also performs really nicely with that gearbox as well. At the moment it's got a, um, a high ratio 4 speed box from my very first car which is just sort of in there to get me by while I rebuild the other one. So on that country road now I was telling you about
it's already got ten times as much force going through it in the first place. 